Hey, Bennett. There he is. What's happening? You're in here. Um, I've never seen you in this room before. Oh, this is this is my bedroom. It's cozy. <laughs> I, like, I like your mirror, your teardrop mirror with the little uh, succulent. It's nice. That was all my design. Really? It's no, vibe. It's my wife's. Uh, there's also a candle lit over here. You know, to set in the vibes, man. I have a candle lit over here as well. It's way over there. But was it, what's the smell? That's a uh, um, some musky kind of smell. Nice. Yeah. When you think of Bennett, you think musky. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's I, the candle for this interview. Yeah, Bennett, m musty, musty Bennett. <laughs> Good to see you, man. It's been a year. It's been a full calendar year. Just came up in my memories last time uh, we spoke in person in Philadelphia. How's how's life? Life is good. I'm excited to come back to Philadelphia. It's one of my favorite places to to play. I mean, I've said that to you countless of times, but uh, um, I think uh, last show I did there, it was I, I my voice was like kind of going because it was the end of the year. Um, but it was uh, the, the fans uh, got me, so that was nice. They, they just they just sang for me. I didn't even have to do anything. I mean, Philly's passionate and definitely passionate for the booth as well. June thirteenth, you're going to be at the Man. Uh, that's like yeah. one of my favorite venues too. It's it's such a good spot. It is a good spot. I'm looking forward to it and you know testing out some of these new songs and maybe playing some songs that aren't even out yet. Just uh, I, I I look back and can't believe how long I've been uh, doing this for. But seven years of good uh, performances and uh, I've enjoyed it very much. Yeah, I mean, you just posted about the, the anniversary of See You Again. I remember when you performed that in Philadelphia for the first time, and then we had, like, chicken fingers or something in your trailer afterwards. Like, that's when we first got to know each other. It's been that's that right. long. It's been it a has, minute. Yeah, you've been, you've been kind of showing love from day one. I got to thank you for that. Off the, no G. On, on, on and off the record. And I, I, my diet on tour used to be atrocious, which is probably why chicken fingers. <laughs> Now here I am drinking green juices. How far we've come. How far we've come, but we're healthier. We're healthier and thriving, especially you. You talk, you're talking about new music uh, today. Here we are. I mean, the song I've been watching you create on TikTok since January. It's finally out, Charlie. I know. You know, it's, it's actually, if you go back into the depths of the internet, you will find the first version of the song I'm trying to, remember what it sounded like but it was a i think it was like april 2020 when i wrote this song with dan and jay wow and yeah so there's a completely different version online the song has taken many different shapes and forms but it's finally here and sabrina's got her version coming out on the 14th it's a very um different and cool uh type of release plan i'm very happy about yeah, this whole release is, is super cool. You have the, the short film, which is awesome. Is this the start of your acting career? Because I thought it was really, really impressive how it all came together. Uh, the rise and fall of a relationship. It seemed very like true and honest. Um, well, yeah, I mean, she's, uh, Serena is a great actress just as much as um, she is an artist. And she, um, I don't consider myself to be an actor, but she definitely brought something uh, pretty cool out of me. I watched it back. I'm like, that's me. <laughs> yeah dude it's 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 freaking awesome uh so let's talk about the song with dan and shay i love those guys those guys can party uh they're a lot of fun uh wait, that's more, wait well, i didn't know that what's that sounds like a oh awesome. man i mean they wrote a song about tequila and it's like not like you know they they yeah they drink tequila uh, okay we, we, had, like, we had a night like, in miami one time oh yeah i like <laughs> that song. i like that song tequila because it's a ballad and you can still have a good time <laughs> to it or i guess record according to you working with dan and shay i love these guys man how did the song come together and you got to be feel feeling so good it's finally out this is song has been what three years in the making three years in the making it's finally out i hope people um can kind of uh listen to it and uh create their own go back to their own memory and create create their own vibe to uh, the song so I'm, I'm very happy. It's, it's a song that means a lot to me, and I hope it means a lot to other people as well. We love it. We're going to play the hell out of it on 96.5 TDY. There you go. Every day until you come here, June 13th at the Man. 
And then hopefully we'll have an in-person interview where the Wi-Fi doesn't matter if it's good or not. You know, we can yeah. just have a warm embrace. Uh, yeah, we should probably just stick to in-persons with you. <laughs> you and your Wi-Fi cannot be trusted. Uh, Charlie, just congrats on life. Congrats on this single uh, and the tour. We, uh, we can't wait to see you in June. Thank you. I can't wait to see you in June as well. Thank you. All right, man. Be good. Talk soon. See you, man. Enjoy your cozy room. <laughs>